This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so uh, we will be starting our next topic that is repetitive manufacturing. Okay, so the topics that we are going to cover, they are overview of repetitive manufacturing. We will understand what is repetitive manufacturing, characteristics of repetitive manufacturing, what are the important features of repetitive manufacturing, repetitive manufacturing profile, what is repetitive manufacturing profile and what is the use of profile, master data in repetitive manufacturing, okay, main functions in repetitive manufacturing, we will see this, okay, planning in repetitive manufacturing, how the planning activity is carried out in repetitive manufacturing, then we will see line loading, line loading in repetitive manufacturing, and then back flashing, confirmation, nothing but GI goods issue confirmation and GR that that activity in the repetitive manufacturing. So these are the topics we are going to cover in the repetitive manufacturing. Okay, so repetitive manufacturing is used in companies which produces products in large numbers. Okay, the production is quantity based and period based. Okay, so normally this repetitive manufacturing some industries what happens is they produce the same product over a period of time okay suppose let's say you take cement manufacturing industry they manufacture the same cement over a period of time okay there are there are no product changeovers same cement they will continuously produce so in those kind of industries they go for repetitive manufacturing repetitive manufacturing is mainly used for production with high product stability High product stability means normally only one or two products and high repetition rates as well as low production complexity so so you're repeating the same product continuously so in those industries they will go for repetitive manufacturing okay in repetitive manufacturing the same product is usually produced over a longer period of time on a single production line that's that's what i explained so you have same product continuously produce they produce it okay so examples as i said earlier cement or even sugar manufacturing industry sugar in the sugar manufacturing industry they produce the same sugar continuously no product changeovers so in those kind of industries they will go for this rep repetitive manufacturing it is not manufactured in individually defined lots. Instead, a total quantity is produced over a certain period at a certain rate per part period. Okay, so you continuously produce a quantity over a period of time. So in those kind of industries, they go for repetitive manufacturing. Okay, so these are the industries. Okay, so normally, typically in these industries, mechanical engineering industries, consumer industries, or electronics industries, they will implement this repetitive manufacturing. It's as I said earlier, it is a period based production and mass. They produce the products in mass. So, in those kind of industries, they will use this repetitive manufacturing. Okay, so this is the flow basically. So they enter the demand, okay, as per their requirement, okay, and then uh, from the sales module, from the sales, you will receive the sales orders, customer orders, and that they will enter into the system and then they will run MRP. When they run MRP, system will generate planned orders. If there is no stock, it will generate planned orders. And using these planned orders only, the production will executed, production is executed. Here there is no production order or process order. Here, here you have planned orders only. Here, here you cannot convert the planned order to production order also. System will not allow. With the planned orders itself, they will do the manufacturing activity. They will, they will do the manufacturing execution. Okay. That is a major change. Okay. So first, the functions in the repetitive manufacturing is first you create all the master data then planning we will do the line loading okay planning and line loading then the metal staging metal staging and back flushing confirmation 
okay so we will see all these functions one by one so first we'll create the required master data so this is the master data first we will create the materials material okay only thing is in the material master you need to make certain extra cities i will show you that in the system in the material you need to activate repetitive manufacturing indicator and you have to assign the suitable profile this i will show it in the system what is this profile why it is used and as usual you need a production version okay that is a metal then bomb you need to create the bill of material bomb remains same there are no changes in the bomb okay now coming to the routing task list task list here we will call it as rate routing the task list is called as rate routing okay and it, it normally will have only one operation i will explain why it will have only one operation okay and here they will define the rate production rate that's why it is called rate routing rate routing okay this we will create in the system here you will have a separate transaction also now after that normally the work center work center here it is called as a production line all the machines are clubbed into one single production line production line so here the work center is normally called as production line and after that for this bomb and rate routing combination we will be creating a production version and in the in the production version you have to make some extra settings i will show you that in the system so this is the master data so let's create this master data first okay Okay, so what I will do, I will use a different site for this one today. Okay, just give me one. Oh. I will use this plant. Huh? I will use this plant okay so let me create a new new material i'll create a new finished product okay industry sector i'll select mechanical material type for okay and just to save the time i am copying from existing material okay this material is already there in the system okay so i'll just copy the data from this material just to save the time We already discussed metal master everything in detail now. so just will create the material okay art levels and copy from the plant or01 to or01 okay so this is a new material i'm creating repetitive manufacturing so i'll put it as fg underscore rem okay and just to just to have reference i'll put my name okay so this is the finished product we are creating enter 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 so now if you see here in the mrp4 view you need to make these two extra settings you see here there is a subscript repetitive manufacturing so in this one you need to make these extra settings you need to activate this repetitive manufacturing indicator this checkbox and you have to assign a repetitive manufacturing profile okay i will come to this profile in a minute i'll come to this profile in a minute okay so these two extra settings you have to do you have to do other than this everything remains same okay so already that settings are there we have assigned a profile here we have assigned a profile here okay continue that's okay continue 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 that's okay Mm 
then yes so we created a new finished product okay so we created material master okay so material master as i told earlier t codes remain same 